Hey, so in this video I'm going to be talking about um, a topic that we have gone over in my EDAV 427 class this past week and um, that topic was kind of or had to deal with um, the mind and brain and um, educational technology and kind of how it all intertwines and the one thing that really stood out to me was more so of um, the brain um, but I've always thought learning about the brain was really interesting um, especially with me being a communication sciences and disorders major um, I've always just been really really interested in um, language and speech and intake of language and speech and uh, how that all links together through the brain and how that all just kind of plays together and interacts together. Um, but one thing that really caught my mind was uh, something that in our notes said that different parts of the brain may be ready to learn at different times and uh, Another one says that uh, visual brain simulation helps the brain organize information and forms patterns used in cognitive development. Um, and I think that's really interesting. Um, I actually, in one of my CSD classes, uh, we talked about uh, being brought up in, or someone being brought up in a bilingual household. And um, that is always just a really cool subject to me, not only because that person knows two different languages, um, but how, just how the brain can take that. Um, and I personally think, too, that um, with that comes kind of more of a different aspect of learning and perceiving things different um we actually talked about how growing up in a bilingual home um those kids since they have that's all they've known um their brain is kind of kind of invented this way of learning two different things at the same time um and um I just think that's really cool because um uh, their brain since they learned that at such a young age uh, they could initially take that pattern or that structure of how they took in those two languages and maybe even apply it in an educational setting uh, and I just think that that is like one of the most like fascinating things in the world and I really do think that those children and older adults that were brought up around in a bilingual household, um, they do kind of have more of a, a broader intake of information. Um, because, I mean, switching from language to language, I mean, that's kind of hard, especially if it's two languages that are very similar. Um, I personally took um, French in high school, but then when I came here to Ole Miss, uh, my freshman year here, I took Spanish and completely went over my head. I had no clue what I was talking about. Um, even in high school, I really didn't even know. I couldn't grasp onto French as well. And so I've always thought that that is just so cool that someone being brought up in this kind of household has that brain capacity to learn and intake all of those different aspects of those two different languages and uh, the brain can just do so much and when that's all applied to education I really do think that that opens up so many doors for someone uh, especially with educational technology uh, that is definitely someone we want to develop educational technology and that is someone that we want to be around educational technology because
there's so many different ways that we can apply this technology to a classroom. Uh, and it's just so cool. But yeah.